super excited to bring you guys this video. Finally got my hands on my brand new Fierce Rogue 22 Creedmoor. In this video, we're just gonna shoot the 22 Creedmoor, see how it groups, see how it reacts in the ballistic gel, especially compared to our 243, which obviously is known as being a deer slayer. We'll be shooting the 22 Creedmoor and the 243 both in the ballistics gel, both using 20 inch barrels, uh, shooting 80 grain projectiles. And make a determination on whether or not we think the 22 Creedmoor is nothing more than a, a varmint rifle, or if the 22 Creedmoor is a legitimate deer hunting rig. We also have the chrono set up so we can check the speeds and see if the speeds match up with what Hornady is telling us. So what exactly is the 22 Creedmoor? Here's the 22 Creedmoor next to his parent cartridge, which is the 6.5 Creedmoor. This round has been wildcatted the last 10 years, but it just officially got approved by Sammy in 2023, and Horizon Firearms is currently loading for Hornady. Using the 6.5 Creedmoor case, they took the 6.5 millimeter bullet out and replace it with the smaller, sleeker, high BC 22 caliber bullet. One of the fears a lot of folks have been having about the 22 Creedmoor is their availability to get ammo. And you can see here on TexasAmmunition.com, which is where I got my ammo for this test. At the time of filming, you can see they have several thousand boxes in stock, which the price at $39.99 a box is about what I'm seeing for other rifle ammunition, whether it be 270, 30 out 6, or 308. And here's another look at both of those offerings from Hornady, both 80 grains, EOD match, and the EODX. Here's a look at both of those two cartridges. We also shot these into the ballistics gel and got very, very similar results with all of the 22 Creedmoor cartridges. One more look here at the rifle. This came with the threaded barrel, upgraded trigger, muzzle brake. I'll do a full review on this rifle at some point as well. And if you couldn't tell from the clips here, both the stock and the barrel on this rifle are 100% carbon fiber, which makes this thing super light. For today's test, we wanted to keep the grain weights the same. These are both Bowtail Hollow Points 85 grainers. The 243 is here on the left, and the 22 Creedmoor is on the right. So the first thing I want to talk about is the accuracy out of the 22 Creedmoor. It's a really, really flat shooting cartridge, uh, shooting really, really high BC bullets. Uh, we did some three-shot groups and some five-shot groups at 100 yards, and we were very, very impressed with the accuracy we got out of this rifle and this cartridge. The rifle fed reliably. We shot three different loads, uh, 85 grain and 280 grains, and as you can see here, definitely sub-MOA with this rifle and this cartridge. Most groups we shot, we had several rounds that were touching. Here's a measurement of that group. It came in at .28, which is outstanding. In regards to velocities, when we're shooting the 85 grain projectiles, we're getting just over 3,000 feet per second. When we drop down to the 80 grain projectiles, we started getting speeds at just over 3,200 feet per second. This was an 80 grain EOD match round. One other thing that I want to discuss here is the recoil, actually the lack thereof, which is another benefit to shooting the 22 Creedmoor, and it can obviously be beneficial to smaller shooters, young shooters, uh, recoil sensitive shooters, or just getting that follow-up shot off just a little bit faster. And this barrel is threaded, so you could even put a can on this barrel to make the recoil even less. But you can see here, every shot we took with the 22 Creedmoor, you just barely move. Uh, not very much recoil at all. And here's a look at some of the fun stuff. We started looking at some of the ballistics data, both using 85 grain Bowtail hollow points, 243 and the 22 Creedmoor. You can see the velocity out of the muzzle favors the 243, but then at every increment all the way out to 500 yards, uh, it clearly favors the 22 Creedmoor by a pretty wide margin there. And here's a look at the muzzle energy. You can see out of the muzzle, the 243 is producing more energy than the 22 Creedmoor, but then you go to 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500 yards, the clear winner is the 22 Creedmoor. Here's another fun thing to note. If you look at the energy at 500 yards for the 22 Creedmoor, it's producing more energy than the 243 is even at 300 yards, and that's, that's, that's pretty significant. You still have enough uh, foot pounds of energy at 500 yards to, to take a deer uh, with the 22 Creedmoor. Here's another look at both of those two cartridges. Again, the 243 is on the left and the 22 Creedmoor is on the right. We took both the 243 and the 22 Creedmoor and shot them into ballistics gel. This first shot is the 243. I'll show it again. Obviously, the 243 has a tremendous amount of energy and is adequate for taking deer size game. And here's a shot at that 85 grain 22 Creedmoor in the ballistics gel. And here's one more look at that 22 Creedmoor in that ballistics gel. Which one of these two do you think had the most impact? I was able to clear the gel up a little bit. You can see here's another top view of the 243 and the 22 Creedmoor. 
Um, and again, you can just see how much uh, better of a wound channel the 22 Creedmoor left in the gel. Here's a shot of the EOD match. It was 80 grain from the 22 Creedmoor. As you can see, this did excellent in the gel as well. And here's a shot of the EOD X round, which also performed very well in the ballistics gel. I'm impressed with the 22 Creedmoor. It held its own with the 243 in the ballistics gel testing. So what are my final thoughts so far on the 22 Creedmoor? From the recoil to the accuracy to the energy and velocity retention downrange, I think the 22 Creedmoor is a winner and more than capable deer cartridge. Now, if you have a 22, 250, 243, those are still great choices and they'll definitely get the job done. But I love uh, new innovations and I, I just find it interesting and I can't wait to do some more testing with the 22 Creedmoor.